Hello, hello. I'm Breton, one of our MCAT tutors here at Inspira Advantage, where we help students get to med school and other professional programs. Welcome back, future medical professionals. In the first part of our discussion on social stratification and equality, we will be exploring social classification, functionalism, socioeconomic status, social class, prestige, power, anami, and strain theory. Understanding these concepts is essential for providing compassionate and informed care to your future patients from diverse backgrounds, as well as allowing you to crush the psycho section. So let us begin. Beginning with social classification. This is the system by which society ranks categories of people into a hierarchy. This hierarchy can be based on factors such as wealth, occupation, race, or education. For example, a CEO might be considered to have a higher social status than a janitor due to their differences in income and occupational prestige. Next, we have functionalism, which is stating that the social stratification is necessary and results from the needs for those with special intelligence, knowledge, and skills to be part of the most important professions and occupations. This approach suggests that stratification creates a harmonious equilibrium within society. For instance, doctors and engineers are given higher status and rewards because their specialized skills are vital to society's functioning. Next, we have good old SES, or socioeconomic status. This can be determined through factors such as income, education, and occupation. There are two important types of statuses you need to be aware of for the MCAT. First is ascribed status. This is the involuntary and derives from clearly identifiable characteristics such as age and gender. For example, a person's status as a male or female cannot be changed through their actions. The other status you need to know is called achieve status. This is acquired through direct individual efforts. For example, a person who works hard to become a successful lawyer attains a higher social status due to their achievements. So you can think of ascribed as you were born into it and achieved are the things that you have achieved, like hopefully crushing the MCAT and becoming a doctor. It's also a good time to talk about social class. So this refers to a category of people with shared socioeconomic characteristics, shared SES status, such as income, education, and occupation. Classes can range from lower to upper class with different levels of access to resources and opportunities. For example, a family living in poverty may struggle to access quality education and healthcare, while a wealthy family might have better access to these resources. Now, let's talk about one of my favorite movies of all time, The Prestige, but just prestige for right now. This is the respect and importance tied to specific occupations or associations. Higher prestige occupations, such as doctors or lawyers, often comes with greater social recognition and influence. For instance, a university professor might be highly respected in their community due to their educational achievements and professional standing. Next up, let's talk power. Power is the capacity to influence people. It can be derived from various sources, such as wealth, social connections, or physical strength. For example, a politician may wield power due to their ability to make decisions that impact society or through their extensive network of supporters. Next, we have Anami. Anami is a lack of social norms or the breakdown of social bonds between individuals and society. This can lead to feelings of isolation, disconnection, and a sense of meaninglessness. An example could be the rise in loneliness and depression observed in highly individualistic societies where traditional societal ties and support systems have weakened. And finally, we have strain theory. That kind of comes out of talking about anami. Strain theory is focusing on how anomic conditions can lead to deviance and in turn reinforce social stratification. When individuals feel disconnected from society or unable to achieve their goals through legitimate means, they may turn to deviant behavior. Crime. For instance, a person who cannot find a well-paying job due to a lack of education might resort to criminal ex activities like robbing a bank to make ends meet. In this first part of our exploration of social stratification and inequality, we have covered the foundations of how society classifies individuals and the impact of these classifications on individuals' lives. In part two, we will discuss further concepts related to social stratification, including social capital, meritocracy, social mobility, poverty, and globalization. So until then, stay tuned and keep crushing that psycho section. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.